Tara, uh, you came from Paris with a gold medal, but uh, now I suppose you have uh, two things to do. The first one is do your best uh, tomorrow evening in Longchamp. The second uh, thing you have to do is uh, suggest uh, to your husband uh, that is a great uh, Paralympic athlete what's the best way to win the gold medal at the Paralympics. Uh, just going out there and having fun. I mean, um, he's working hard this season to get to this point. Um, he has a target on his back, and uh, he's going to be the, the hunted this year. Uh, more than seven meters? Hey, yeah. I mean, you guys saw how that track went for the European Championships, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> so I have a question for Tara now. You've been so consistent this year, over seven meters. So uh, that must uh, be a really good feeling. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've worked so hard this season to um, just get to the position I'm in today. I feel like uh, my hard work is showing. Um, you know, seven meters doesn't come easy. So anytime I can touch anywhere close to seven meters, it's uh, proof in the what I've been working for all season. Um, yeah, I feel like, I hope I get to change the game of long jump to make seven meters not as difficult for these women. So we have something to reach for. I feel like um, we can change that seven meter mark to you know, 720s and 730s plus. If there's no one else, I'm going on. Um, Tara, you had some rough times a few years ago with uh, mental health issues, and uh, now you look like a totally different athlete. You're very joyful when you're out there on the track. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, um, back in 2020, 2021, I wasn't really um, you know, fond of what I was doing in my life. I had some uh, bad habits, bad uh, outlooks on life, and um, I gave myself an ultimatum of, you know, you get this life one chance, and it's either you take it or you don't, and I decided to, like, bubble up and just uh, put on the boots and, you know, start marching, and um, ever since then, I changed my outlook on life. I don't let the small things get to me as much, and um, I don't know, I feel like I'm here for a reason, and whatever that reason is, I'm going to show my smile and show the joy of life. I think that, you know, we all struggle with something, and if I'm able to voice my opinion on mental health or voice that I struggle too, I feel like that can, you know, inspire not just women, but everyone in the world to just, you know, be themselves and go out there and just live life. Uh, no, I'm not an uh, some people love him, some people hate him, I don't know. But one thing is for sure, people talk about him, he's an icon, and you are the new icon. And you and Hunter are the golden couple of the Olympic Games. You are inspiring a new generation. How does that feel for you? It feels good. I mean, I'm just out here living. Um, I'm not trying to be, you know, uh, <coughs> doing this for the views or doing this to be seen. I'm just living. Um, you know, Hunter and I share a special relationship um, on and off the track. So, um, if people can look at us with just, you know, only see joy, only see, you know, love between us. Um, for Noah, I feel like the people that so-called hate, I don't want to use that word because that's not nice. Um, I think that people just haven't seen him for who he is. I feel like um, he's, he is a different cat. He is a different... Uh, walk of life, um, but I think it's beautiful that he's able to share his expressions and share his full personality. Um, I think people can take note of that. Talk about your move up to K-State and like the coaching and the opportunities that you, you know, you're excited to. Yeah, um, if you guys don't know, I am now an assistant coach at K-State. Uh, it's a small school in Manhattan, Kansas. Um, I'm so stoked to be there and stoked to bring my knowledge to um, other athletes. I feel like I have a different viewership on the NCAA as I was um, a transfer. I've been around the block, I feel like, with multiple coaches and I struggled with depression in college, I've struggled with success in college and um, I don't know, I feel like my idea for me as a coach when I go over there is just to give insight rather than, um, you know, hardcore coaching. I will share my expertise on what I know in the jumps and sprints, but at the end of the day, I want to give um, 
kind of like my two cents and help these athletes, you know, get through college. It's it's hard to move away from home. It's hard to, um, you know, be in a place that you're not used to. So uh, I just hope as a coach that I can give um, just some moral support and everything that I can.